What's going on guys? So today I want to do another subscriber request. A couple of you guys in the past have requested a tarot deck. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. So let's go and check out the build I came up with. Um, I did get inspiration from this deck from uh, one of the guys who plays a lot, uh, Odom, Odium Ed. So he has a list on his server that's uh, a little little similar to this. I did tweak it a little bit and kind of did my own thing with it, um, missing a few of the cards he had. But um, one of the primary changes was I included Dark Web for some additional power. Um, I think he has a... Uh, I can't think of the card he has that I don't, but... Um, yeah, I made a few tweaks, uh, missing, I took out Ghost, uh, took out one of his other cards, but um, basically I had this very similar idea to his deck, so when I uh, peeked around to see if he had come up with anything, what I had and what he had were pretty similar, um, so I figured I'd throw him some credit since I did uh, tweak a few things based off of his list as well, but essentially we have here a... Uh, a tarot locking deck, which is going to self-lock ourselves. So cards such as the Devil, which are going to give us a nice buff. So this card, when drawn, it locks permanently. And then there's four, uh, four random cards in your hand are going to get minus two permanent energy. And then four random cards are going to get a nice plus 20 permanent buff. Uh, we've also got the card Hanging Gardens, which again, when drawn, this your cards in hand gain plus 35 permanently. And this card locks permanently. So right there, we have two cards in our hand that are locking permanently. So what do we do? We have to essentially overlock our hand so that we can unlock these cards and play them again. And then we continue to get these permanent buffs. So our cards, as the game goes on, just keep getting bigger and bigger. So how do we unlock our hand? Well, we have Zhang Di Emperor is going to be our card to do that. So uh, the rounds we play him chances are we're going to lose so this this deck does like to go five rounds most of the time uh, play this card typically twice and it's going to unlock our cards our big heavy hitters that are again buffing the rest of our cards up so uh, basically he you play him by himself uh, all your cards your remaining four cards in your hand overlock and then unlock all your cards so and he buffs as well so Another nice buff we're going to get. Uh, other cards in the deck, we have the Fool. When drawn, your tarot cards, wherever they are, gain plus 16 permanently. And because of the Emperor, we have to have at least 14. So that's a pretty significant buff. So this card, when returned, if your deck has 14 or more tarot cards, which it does, your tarot cards, wherever they are, gain plus 18 until played and cost minus one energy for three turns. So another pretty significant buff on all our tarot cards so this deck gets a lot of buffs and gets quick fairly big or gets big fairly quick so, <laughs> sorry a little tongue-tied there uh some other cards we have we have king of pentacle uh pentacles so it says when played if you're winning the round this card loses 50 and your cards in hand gain 50 so basically a net of 50 there and if you're losing the round, this card gains 50 and your cards in hand lose 50. So something to consider there. You want to typically you want to play it when you're winning, unless you play it by itself with the lovers. Uh, lover says when played, if you play exactly two cards this turn and the cards adjacent uh, give both cards plus 70 power this turn. So essentially you play the lovers by itself. Actually had a game where just playing two cards, I was able to get over 700 power in with this deck. So this deck can put down some crazy numbers um, pretty quickly. Uh, another card I've added, Ace of Cups. When played, your cards adjacent to this gain plus 20 permanently. When returned, your cards adjacent cost plus one permanently. Uh, we've also got, let's see, we talked about Dark Web, just a nice... Uh, Potential for plus 25 permanent on all our cards over 50 base power. So we have quite a few in this deck with 50 or more base power. So that's one of the changes I opted to make just because I think I think it's worth it with as many cards as we have. Um, the tower, when drawn, all cards in both players' hand lose 10 until played. Um, 
but when played, if you're winning the round, a random card in your hand gains plus 100 for the turn, and you get to see which card it is if you, when you put this card out, so you'll know which card to play. And then uh, if you're tied, a random card in either player's hand loses plus 100 this turn. So we don't want to play it when we're tied unless we know it's going to buff one of our cards. Next up, we got Hanged Man. When played, this card loses 50 power permanently, and your cards adjacent to this gain plus 25 power permanently. So that minus 50 is going to be offset by all these buffs this deck's getting. So you're not going to really notice it too much late game. It's still going to be a pretty decent 5-drop. Crystal Ball is going to buff our Tarot cards. So obviously the deck's built around Tarot. So you're going to get that plus 22 and cost plus 1 energy until played. We've got Wheel of Fortune. When played, if you're losing the round, this card gains plus 30 permanently. The Hermit. At the start of each turn, your cards in hand lose 10, 10 this turn. And then when played, your cards adjacent lose 50. So it's just a big 4, four drop for 99 power. It's going to get triggered by Dark Web, so that's why we have it. We want to get rid of it right when we draw it most of the time. Don't want to leave it sitting in your hand, dinging your cards. Uh, next we have Ten of Swords. Uh, when returned, if you won the turn, your remaining cards in hand lose 20 until played. We've got Six of Swords. If it's the first turn of a round... This card costs minus three energy permanently. Uh, we've got finally we've got four of wands. When returned, if you won the turn, you're gonna get a nice buff on all your cards wherever they are, plus one. And then finally, three of swords. Uh, if you lost the turn, this card loses 70 permanently. So you gotta be careful when we play that card. And that's the deck. So let's go check it out. You guys can see it in action. You guys trying to Trying to show some videos here and there so you guys can see me climbing up. I might try for Dragon this week. I don't know yet. It really just depends if I've got enough time. Free time on my hands is the is really the problem when trying for me to climb. So certain weeks I'll try, certain weeks I won't. So I don't know if I'll try this week, to be honest. It's just a grind, and I don't know if I want to make the grind. <laughs> But as always, if you guys enjoy the content, please hit that like button and uh, smash that subscribe button for me down in the bottom right corner. It definitely helps, guys. Every time you guys hit it, helps out. So please hit that button. Here we go. So let's uh, let's see what I want to do here. We got King of Pentacles. It's better when I'm winning, so we're probably going to hold off on it. We have Hanged Man buffing our cards, so maybe we go that route. Kind of awkward that we drew it with Ace of Cups, though. Mm. I was really nervous about losing this round, too, with Three of Swords, so I'm hoping we can pull it through. It's getting a lot of buffs here. And we didn't, so that's unfortunate for us there on Three of Swords. All those little triggers he got there. Definitely unfortunate. All right, there's our dark web. So that's a nice buff. And it is 25, so that's good. Tarot giving us a buff. Hermit's going to ding us a little bit. So our cards adjacent to this lose 50. So this is perfect time to play the Fool. Get it, out, get it back cycling along with Dark Web, since this isn't really getting affected by only losing six here. So good little combo with the Fool. All right, we're down a little bit. Let's see if we can recover here. I'm hoping for a good draw. Devil wasn't really it. It kind of hurt us a little bit. So now two of our cards are locked. This really would have been the time to just concede and, and draw Zhang Di Emperor. But it didn't happen. Sucks I really didn't want to have to play this card. But I guess we're going to do it. 
Let's just get these out of our hand. We'll just concede this round. All right, let's see what uh, round two brings for us up against a, looks, just looks like a pure paleontology deck. So there's our lovers. So this might be the chance to get it going. If you won the turn, your remaining cards in hand lose 20. So I want to be careful there. I don't want to win the turn. And this card's if tied. So it's going to buff that card, unfortunately. So maybe we just do it like this then. And hope we don't um, get dinged at 20. Okay, I think we're good. Opponent coming out strong here. So I'm hoping I can recover this game. Really need that Zhang Di Emperor here. My goodness. It's going to be the last card I draw. So, tower buffed itself there, if you guys saw that. Alright, Zhang Di Emperor here. We should definitely draw it now. So, probably just going to play it by itself. Concede again. And hope for a... Good start to next turn. I'm just faking them out like I'm playing three cards here. Want them to lock in. And then I back out to one. So that's going to buff our cards 25. Unlock our hand. So we're not so awkwardly playing cards here. All right, so I think we got a good shot now going into th round three. That was his paleontology round anyway, so I didn't think we were going to win it. So I'm going to do this, this, and this. Get a nice turn one here. And then I'm going to play the Devil next. I wanted to space them out a little bit. Hanging Gardens and the Devil, that is. There's our Dark Web. Three of Swords still pretty big, even though we lost 70 with it already. Go ahead and do it like that. Keeping our lead so far. Dang, did we lose the turn again with that? My goodness. That poor Three of Swords. Go ahead and do it like that. Decent turn for us. All right. <clears throat> Looks like round three is in the books. We got that one. This deck's slowly building up its power, as you guys can see. Aside from <laughs> three of swords. <laughs> can't, just can't win with that one.
All right, what's the play here? If you won the turn, your remaining cards in hand lose 20. So maybe we, maybe we try this, see if he beats us. Sure. Nope, ended up getting it, so we're gonna lose 60 now. Probably should have played it with just played that with three cards, so then I don't take as bad of a hit if I win. Unfortunate there. Nothing seems to be going my way when I play these cards down. Figure I get my crystal ball buff going. A little bit behind here. So it's actually buffing his card, but he's not playing it. So that's good news. So probably be pretty close. Don't know that this is going to win for us. But we're going to try it. Dang, I think he got us. Oh my gosh, did we win by five? <laughs> oh, that was close. All right. It's a little unfortunate, though. We got that Zhang Di Emperor. I really want to play it and unlock that Hanging Gardens. But I don't know if that's a smart play at this point. Or if we just hold on to it. I think I'm just going to do it like this. Not worry about unlocking the Hanging Gardens and the Devil. And hope we can just out-muscle without it. Oh, unfortunately, that's going to screw me, though, because I'm only going to have... I'm going to have three cards locked. Oh, my goodness. How did I not plan for that? So I just blundered, I think, this game. Because Devil's going to draw right here. Lock me out. Yep. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Definitely a mistake on my part. Maybe we can pull it through, though. Who knows? Two cards get us almost 500 power there. I'm going to lose this game just because I made that mistake. <laughs> Should have thought of that. Should have thought of that. Ugh. That's frustrating. Well, they got some heavy hitters here, so maybe. 350, he's going to need to put down. Yeah. It's close. He's probably got it, though. Yeah, I think he's got it going to do it. Dang, I really messed that turn up there. I should have uh, should have held Zhang Di. Well, we tried. We'll do one more since I blundered the poop out of that. That's what happens when you don't play a deck enough. You, sh you don't know all of its quirks like that. But the more you play it, the more you start realizing, oh, man, <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. 
But now you guys know from my mistakes, if you play this deck, don't make that same mistake. All right, let's see if we can win this second one here. Or if I botch it again. All right, dark web on the on the rip. That's always a good sign. You love to see it. There's our devil giving us a buff. Ooh, nice six of swords draw too. Man, really good start there. Hoping this pans out. Another paleontology deck, huh? That's not good news for our round five. Might struggle here again. Seems to be a good deck. We'll see, though. We're hanging gardens. Ah, another awkward hand. This this deck does have some awkward hands. We'll say that. Only playing two cards, though, so I figured we could still win and not get penalized by our three of swords. Alright, opponent's going to win this round. Great deck. Alright, we need some Zangdi Emperor. I'm going to get these unlocked. Never plays how you want it. I was like, I know I'm going to win this, and then I'm going to get penalized again. <laughs> Every time, man. I have no luck with this deck, I swear. Alright, I actually buffed a card that's not locked. It's a miracle. Maybe we make a comeback here. Win around. That'd be nice. All right, there we go. Let's see if we get another draw that we like. Oof. Risky business. He's playing three cards. Do we try to play two cards? Or do we just concede again? Go Zeng D. I think we have to do that, right? Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Got us again. Man, I don't even think if I had played all three, would I have even won? Yeah, I would have won. So I could have I could have done that, but didn't feel worth it. Well, I guess I guess maybe it is to win the round, but I didn't want to sit with those cards locked for a whole nother round or several rounds till I draw Zhang Di again. This deck wants to get buffing. 
I'm going to play them together this time, so hopefully they're close to Zhang Di. And we should draw them there at the start of round, end of round four, start of round five. Which could screw us again. Hmm. Hoping that four of wands get that little little bit of a buff. It's not a lot, but every little bit counts. All right, we got our hermit. <clears throat> Cards adjacent lose 50. Remember, we do Hanging Man. And let's get our Three of Swords down. See if we can win. That way we don't lose 70. Okay. Good round for us there. Opponent's deck keeping up with us decently, though. He's got... Would have been nice to win round two, though. Man. Could have done it. I could have done it. I know I could have done it, but... We just couldn't. We just couldn't do it. I think I'm going to play these two. That way, if, if I play this with three cards, I don't get dinged. That extra 20. Arthoplethora coming in hot. It's going to subdue us a little bit. Still in the lead, though. Alright, so it buffed itself. Let's go Ace of Cups and then we'll do Ten of Swords. So we'd only see a, a ding on two cards here. That's fine. A lot of good permanent buffing going on on my side. I like it. These cards are getting fairly big. We should draw some lock cards now. There they are. Zhang Di. Another dark web buff. All right, what's the play here? We're up, we're up 199. Stage a, um, might drop crystal ball, so we're staged for next round. Drop this and get the fool out of my hand. I hope that's enough. Ooh, I hope that's enough. Ooh, barely. That was really risky. That was closer than I thought. Closer than I thought it was going to be. We did it. Let's see. I'm going to draw both those lock cards. I'm going to need to concede in one turn here, though. Zhang Di. So that I can have a big turn on the back end. Kind of sucks, but that's what we got to do. So let's fake him out. 
Okay, pull him back. Give him the lead right here. Now we gotta try to overcome. We're gonna get a nice buff though. Would have been nice to draw, to have those on round four, but is what it is. All right, let's drop some damage now. Decent turn, 895. I'll take that. Might be enough to catch us up. There we go. So, didn't hurt us too badly um, on that last round, giving him that first turn. All right, let's see what our max is now. Get the Hermit. The card next to it loses, though. We're winning, so Pentacles is going down for sure. Looks like Emperor is the next choice. And I'm thinking the Hermit. That's going to be it right there. Should be enough. Give him a nice good game. That was a pretty clutch, pretty close game. We did pull through. I think we should have won the first game too, honestly. My misplay really cost me that game. But all right, guys, that's the deck. I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely a strong deck. You can see the power it was putting down. Um, I did have, like I said, I had some games earlier I played with it that was just dropping the lovers and one other card. I was putting down 700 power, so... The deck is strong. It can put down quite a bit of power. So definitely check it out if you're interested. And uh, again, appreciate you guys watching. Hit that like button and uh, hit that subscribe button down in the bottom right corner. And if you guys have any ideas or decks you'd like to see in the future, just drop me a comment below and we will get to it. I'll put it on the list and hopefully get to it eventually as I'm collecting cards. So uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching.